Riverine Plains are running a project funded by GADC, which is all about understanding the drivers behind retaining our stubbles and how we can optimise the management of those stubbles. So this project has trial sites from Dukey in the south up to Henty in the north. We'd been retaining stubble for a long time. We we're running into a few problems 15 or 16 years down the track that we wanted to have a look at. In our system and in our area, our aim is to retain stubble, but uh, with machinery and being on narrow row spacings, we have a lot of difficulty getting through stubble. So this project was to have a look at different stubble heights and management practices that we can get through with our machine. In the early years when stubble retention was first started, early 2000s or so in the, in the drier seasons, the retention of stubble was shown to increase water use efficiency and increase the availability of the water to the crop. Once we've come into wetter years and our stubble loads are getting a lot higher, that introduces a lot of physical issues with actually getting through the stubble and we've got a lot more disease issues as well. I think we're finding extremely long stubble causes extremely big headaches. It's really how we either manage stubble at harvest or whether we go forward managing stubble post-harvest. The delay in crop development with long stubble um, really boils down to a couple of issues and, and we've narrowed it down to to one we're targeting which is light interception for the crop at an early growth stage. The others that may have an effect us are things like temperature and nutrient type. In a north-south situation we're getting pretty much 100% interception on both the long and the short stubble. We're not finding any differences between the two whereas if we were saying east-west there's probably more like a sort of a 35 to 40 percent difference in light interception where we had long stubble to short. In this trial we wanted to look at whether incorporating a legume into our system would help us with that nitrogen deficit that we thought we were experiencing. We know the stubble is probably tying up a bit of nitrogen in the system, so our system's already low on nitrogen because we haven't got a legume there. In terms of frost risk and temperature in stubble environments, that is one of the big questions that we've been asked. So we've been able to, to measure the temperatures in our stubble retained systems and what we've found is that if we keep our stubble tall, so 40 plus centimetres, there is a chance that the zone within that stubble zone may actually get a bit colder under our sub-zero temperatures. Whereas if we shorten our stubble, that's not such a big deal. And our temperatures in our short stubble correlate a lot better to what we might see under a burnt or a disc system. You can see the growing point of the plant is about sort of two or three centimetres above the base. This is where it's starting to extend, Just um, it's just set its first node. If you look closely, you can see that the head actually formed inside there. This is when the crop starts to get a little bit more vulnerable as the head moves up the, up the stem and sets more nodes. And then once it starts to fully develop that flag leaf emergence and into booting into, air, into head emergence is when our crop is most uh, vulnerable to stresses like frost or like last year with shading with the, a lot of cloud cover. And probably the second part of it too is to understand if we do have to burn in one particular year or if we do have to cultivate in one particular year, will that affect our system or is there something else we can do to counteract? The longer stubble is only hindering the, in the crop early in the season, it's holding it back. And once it gets above the canopy, those money leaves, those engine room leaves of uh, flag, flag minus one, flag minus two, they have all the, the space and the sunlight they can have. The paddocks walks that we have as part of these trials probably just give people an indication of what trials are being done here. For us, the most effective way to reduce the stubble height is to handle it post-harvest by windrowing it, baling it and exporting it off the paddock. So I suppose this trial has confirmed what our thoughts were about putting a legume in the system. We've seen some great benefits from uh, Faber beans in this trial on the subsequent crops. As farmers, we're always looking over the fence, we're always learning off neighbours, but it's all anecdotal. There's no science behind it, so you don't know whether he's just showing you the best or whether he's showing you what's happening. That's where Rift Plains comes into it. There's actual science behind what we do, and there's a lot of information to be had 